babies, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be this look right here that I have on. It's a full face of actually drugstore makeup, so I'm very surprised and happy with the look that it turned out and the way that these products performed, considering that majority of these are under like $10. So if you're interested in seeing what products I use to get this look, go ahead and keep on watching. And if you're new here, welcome. I'm Nicole. I would love for you to join us here and subscribe to my channel. It would really mean a lot to me. And if you like the look already or if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and turn your little notification notifications on for different looks like this. I'm going to try to incorporate more drugstore and affordable makeup products into my look, which I find end up getting similar results with as if they were like high-end products. So that is something that I love. A lot of things on here are like some of my like new favorites everyday makeup products that I use and like, for example this is like two dollars, this is two dollars and I was thrilled to pick those up again. Let's just go ahead and get right into the video. So first I'm going to be using this Wet n Wild Cosmic Collision Eyeshadow Palette and this one I've heard its color scheme is supposedly supposed to be a dupe for the Natasha Denona Gold Palette and I envy that palette. Supposedly this is supposed to be like a dupe for a lot of the shades that they have in it so you can tell there's like the gold. And the gold palette if you don't know has like a lot of cool pretty blue shades in it as well. I've worked with these palettes before. They're very pigmented as far as the matte. The shimmers I feel like are a little lackluster compared to other shimmers like high end. This palette you can get it for like if you find a coupon $3 or if not like max five dollars if you're at Target or like I got it for four I think at Walgreens. I don't know. I just love when I can get things for super cheap. For example, like I did my brows off camera and like I love the way that my brows came out. And recently I've been using even on off camera besides when I do just full face at drugstore, I always use this e.l.f. brow pencil for the past like maybe three or four weeks. And this is two dollars. I went and bought another one. This is what I have on my brows right now. Four dollars. I definitely recommend and I mean come on. Who doesn't like things for a deal? After my brows, I like to do my eyeshadow, so I'm gonna be using this palette. And it actually says, like, here are these bigger shades, or the transition shades, so I'm gonna go into this one right here and apply that to the transition area of my eye. All of these drugstore products actually don't come with mirrors. I'm gonna take this transition shade into the crease, and I just use, like, a fluffy brush and place that into the transition area. And I like to take the eyeshadow here more towards the nose, because it gives my eyes, like, more of, like, their natural shape, and it makes them a little more like elongated and then I kind of just towards the end do circular motion so it diffuses itself. My dogs went to go get their hair cut at the groomers and if they come back I mean I know they're gonna look like different people different dogs but if they come back and I'm still filming I'm gonna show you guys. Next after I use the transition shade I use this one right here this transition shade well it does transition and I'm going to apply that underneath the other one but focusing it mainly on the outer corner of the eye as if like I'm making this like shadow an imaginary eyeliner and kind of just run it around the top of my lashes and you don't have to be precise occasionally just drag it out and kind of blend up here then I took this gold shade right here in the palette and applied that onto the lid of my eye this eye is actually significantly smaller at least to me and I can tell when I do my shadows so I'll have to like to make them match, I tend to take this shadow or like shimmer a little higher than my actual lid so that my eyes look like they're the same shape and size. After that gold shade, I kind of just took the next, I really like this color and I would like to do just like a color using just this lilac shade, this one, like a light lilac purple, and I put it in the inner corner of my eye. And for the purple shade, I kind of dragged it and blended it a little onto the top of my eye up here. Patches is back from her haircut! Hi, Patchy! How are you? So soft! So, how was your day? How's your handkerchief? <laughs> your eyes are like, what is going on? <laughs> Look, pumpkin! Pumpkin's big, so it's kind of hard to carry her. They're like really shy on camera. Rich the baby. <laughs> So they came back from the groomers and they're like so soft right now and like fluffy and their little paws are like rounded out like I'm fancy and like it's so cute and her little butt they like cut it so it kind of like looks like almost like a heart like it's so cute. Okay so the eyes are done I just applied the NYX liquid liner and that's another drugstore product. So next for the face I'm going to be using this mega cushion foundation with SPF 15 and this is from Wet n Wild. Definitely one of my favorite. I mean there's not a lot of cushion foundations but I like this foundation a lot from the last time I tried it. This time I'm going to be using the shade natural beige and I'm just gonna dip my beauty blender into the sponge and because it's like a sponge and apply that this is a perfect shade for me right now so let's see I mean I like this the last summer I tried it a lot actually for like a really fast it was like more 
natural, leaning, dewy. Right now it's definitely giving me medium coverage, which I'm, honestly I'm surprised that it actually has this much coverage considering it's a cushion. It's a dry girl summer this summer, so all the dewy products come out to play. So you can tell that it gives me like coverage and also like a little luminosity to it. Although like, I mean, I'm not sure if it would work very well with like oily skin because of the fact that it does give a little luminosity to the skin. It's not dewy and it doesn't stay um, like tacky. It does dry down and it look more on the skin of a natural finish and slightly radiant than dewy. Now for concealer, I'm going to apply the L16 Hour Camo Concealer. And this is in the shade Medium Peach. And girl, Medium Peach, you think like medium? Uh-uh. This is like really light. To be honest, I've never tried like a super thick layer of this concealer. I've always just applied like a little bit. Woo! That is way too much. <laughs> Can I salvage myself? Yeah, this concealer I've used plenty of times. It is more on the matte side. It is pretty long wearing. I just think that personally, it is sometimes after it dries down quick, it's a little hard to work with. Next, I'm going to set that using the Fit Me by Maybelline powder. This is in the shade Fair Light. Pen. It's their loose finishing powder. I'm actually very excited to try this because Nikki Tutorial said that this was her like go-to loose powder drugstore or high-end for like the longest time and I haven't used this in a while. So I'm going to go ahead and set the eyes and see what it's all about. That was very pigmented. It feels really good on the under eyes. It feels really good because sometimes I put like powders underneath my under eyes and they're so matte and like life sucking and I don't like the way that it actually leaves the skin it looks like a little too drying the next I'm going to be using my one of my new favorite bronzers which is the elf it's called forever sun kiss but I'm pretty sure these are the primer infused bronzers if I'm like not mistaken and I'm just going to take this equal tools fluffy brush and bronze up my face that's enough bronzing. We're not going to continue that again. So next, we're moving on to blush. Next for blush, I'm going to use this Wet n Wild Pearlescent Pink Blush. And it looks like this. So I'm going to pretend I have the hand of an angel. And I'm not one to be subtle. So I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild Mega Glow one. So now I'm going to apply the Lash Paradise Voluminous by L'Oreal. Yeah, I'm going to have to get a new one of these because it's like really dry. And I know it didn't used to be like that before. So, I mean, it's still working. That's two things in this house that don't work. ColourPop making its appearance for drugstore makeup in the waterline. And I used this color Honeydew because it's like light and like peachy and it opens up the eyes. So this is the final look. I used a Milani lipstick and this is shimmery, like metallic. And I usually hate metallic things like that, but I was like feeling creative. <laughs> and I used this Bronze Beauty over their lip with lipsticks. They're more matte lip creams. And I used this shade Loved. And I said I put the lip bronze on top. Get this look and pull it back together. Very warm toned. That's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoy the look. I'm going to also set the face one last thing. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Rose 301 Primer Water Prep Set and Refresh. So it smells, it smells pretty rosy, but more like that, that grandma rosy. You know what I mean? Like that grandma rose scent. But it was really a fine mist. So that's it for this drugstore wolf face makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed it and maybe found something new or you're like, wow, she reaffirmed that this product is good. So thank you guys so much for being here and watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this wolf face of drugstore makeup. Leave some comments down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video.